Hey y'all, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Tosh from Unstoppable. I ask that you do please subscribe, like, comment, share as well my channel, okay? Uh, so this message is for the Virgos, uh, the Virgos Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Cross Watchers as well. Welcome, okay? Um, so I'm getting something about the year 1965 is significant. You may know somebody, someone that was born during this time, okay? Also, the numbers 8 and 11 is significant as well, okay? Also, uh, 815, 814, 817, okay? Um, something about letters, the numbers 8. I don't know. It's something about the number 8 that's really significant. Also, 19, 10. Um, <clears throat> some of you could be uh, traveling by car. I'm seeing uh, going over a bridge. I'm seeing nighttime. Also, uh, morning as well. Uh, but traveling across the bridge, maybe a highway. Also, uh, catching a ride with someone, needing a ride. Something about vehicle, bus, travel. Okay, you could be uh, wanting to relocate to a new home. Okay, but I'm getting your health is very significant at this time as well. Okay, some of you could be um, uh, going through surgery, getting your regular checkups. This is the month of the biometric where a lot of uh, healthcare workers and what have you will have to have their health screenings done. So that's very important at this time. Okay, but uh, also I'm hearing... Um, some of you could be voting, voting for people in your community. You could be in politics, okay, judge, uh, judges, uh, governor, uh, somebody running for a judge or a governor or something like that, okay? Uh, but hiking, also walking, walking your animals, Halloween decorations, of course, uh, being with your family, spending time with your family. Uh, I'm getting someone maybe in the LGBTQ community, someone could like the same sex, as well, uh, but studying, going back to school, uh, getting more knowledge regarding the situ regarding your work life, trying to get uh, more pay. Okay, you could be someone who likes to dance. I'm hearing uh, P Diddy vibes, Fifty Cents. Okay, destined to be famous. You could be famous. You could be popular, or you may be bringing someone in that's like this. Okay, but you're someone who likes to party. You might smoke. Okay, you might drink, but you have a lot of friends. You're like the life of the party. You like to dance, like P Diddy, you know. Uh, but very inspirational and encouraging. Okay, people see you as someone who's very uplifting and positive as well. You might have been someone who was homeless at one point. You might know someone that's homeless. You may be helping, but giving back to the community as well. There's uh, homeless people. Okay, I'm seeing something about a rent. Uh, rent times three, so you could be uh, renting your home out to someone, to three pe to three uh, individuals. Uh, I'm getting also some you could be moving, changing, uh, renting out a place. You could be moving to a condo, a place that has an elevator. I'm seeing uh, also fireplaces as well. Something about fire, fire is significant. Uh, drinking wine by the fireplace, champagne by the fireplace. Um, some of you could have a Mercedes or a luxury car, okay? But uh, also, I'm getting someone wants another chance, one more chance. This person's not going to stop. They're not going to give up, okay? But they see you as someone who's blowing up, who ha who is a quick come up as well, okay? You someone who used to be a thief or you could have been a thief or this person could be. Just take a hat resonates, okay? But I'm seeing you, uh, 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 you're uh, catching the uh, fake people, cracking the code on fake people, okay? But nighttime, like I say, is very significant, okay? Something could be happening at night. Be careful with attacks at this time, okay? Uh, before I started your reading, I did hear uh, gunshots, okay? So an attack, you may also be wanting to go hunting as well. You might like to shoot your gun off every now and then, whatever, uh, but be careful with that. Be careful with the text. I'm getting a past lover could be trying to harm you, trying to come back at you because you don't want them because you move forward. Okay, this person could be trying to harm you. Might get someone to try to come and harm you because of something you've done. I don't know. Or someone could be doing this on your behalf because they really care about you and they don't want to. They're they're not someone to be played with. They want you to know that. You, they want the person to know that you're not someone to be played around with, okay? But you could be in love with two different people as well. I'm getting two different people. You could have the initials M-E-B-Z-H. It could be in your name, 
okay? Or you know someone that has these initials as well. Also, S, uh, N, T, okay? But someone is crying about something or someone has cried over you. You could be crying about someone. Oh, you could be crying about things that's going on in your life, just thinking about the past, okay? Um, but I'm getting return. Return of something. Someone could have went to jail, could have been in jail. Uh, someone could uh, be falsely accused of something, but getting out, being acquitted of something, okay? Uh, they, this person could have also been in a gang at one point, but I'm getting somebody that wants to change their life around. They could have been a thief, okay? They could have been uh, selling drugs or whatever, Okay, uh, but I'm here in California as well. Watts, Compton, Los Angeles, Long Beach. Okay, somebody could be Hispanic. You could be dealing with a Hispanic. You could be dealing with someone that's close to California. You may be wanting to travel there. You might want to uh, go back, check the roots, uh, do a history lesson. I'm not exactly sure. But Watts, California uh, is uh, rebellion. Okay, it's rebellion, uprising, okay, protests, rioting, shooting, okay, but devastation and neglect as well, okay, because some of you could be feeling this way, you may be feeling left out in the cold, okay, you might be feeling like there's an end to something, or you ended something, okay, but left out in the cold, or you did someone this way, okay, you could be going through a separation at this time, but Watts, uh, for me of you who don't know about uh, Watts, California, if you're in a different uh, country or whatever, Watts, California was, uh, was a, um, it was mainly, uh, Spanish, uh, and Spanish American people that came into the state first. Okay. There was a realtor. I'm not sure of the realtor's name, but he was in real estate and cre he created this land that eventually annexed with Los Angeles and, uh, the, the Spanish American, the Spanish and Mexican American people came in or Spanish, Mexicans, Spanish Mexican people came in, okay, and they started, of course, they started mating, and then it, it turned, it came into uh, Mexican Americans, okay, but they came in first, they started working on the railroads, the Caucasians started to come in, they all started working on the railroads, and then the African Americans came in, and the, Amer uh, the African Americans were mainly like pool men and uh, railroad workers, okay, car porters as well, okay, but um, they immigrated from Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Texas to better their life, to better themselves, to get more increase in pay because they wasn't making enough where they were living, so they trying to make ends meet for their family. So a lot of them moved into the housing project area while the Caucasians moved into the suburbs. Uh, but in 1965, on August 11th, um, Marquette Fry, a African-American male, was pulled over by a police officer for the suspicion of uh, uh, driving while intoxicated. OK, so some of you could be getting pulled over by a police officer. You could be intoxicated. You could be not. Just take a hat resumes. OK, but be careful with uh, drinking at this time, especially drinking with your uh, with beer and uh, uh, whatever alcohol that's open in your car and make sure you don't open it because you can, you know, there can be a, a negative outcome to this. But OK, but I'm not, I didn't get into much detail on Marque. I don't know if the police officer manhandled him in some kind of way or whatever, like they did Rodney King, but, um, Marque Fry, uh, the, he had onlookers that were watching. Okay. Uh, they was watching the situation and that's how the riot began because the people felt like that he was being treated wrong. They didn't like the way that he was being treated. Okay. And it caused a lot of tension, uh, between the police officers and the onlooker, and then that's when the riot started in the central um, commercial area of Watts. Okay, cars were being burned, stores were damaged and burned, grocery stores, liquor stores, department stores, pawn shops. Okay, but the public officials blamed the outside agitators for this uh, for this um, mishap, but. They did an investigation and Pat Brown, who was the government at the time, who was the governor at the time, um, found that the ride was a result of poor schooling, high employment rates, okay, 
in substandard housing. Okay, and despite their finding, <laughs> the civil and the state officials did nothing about it. Okay, and of course, more African Americans start moving in, trying to get better jobs, trying to get better jobs, and moving into the housing area because they were uh, low income. But the jobs started going away, and as a result, the community became poorer and poorer and poorer and poorer. The more so um, African-Americans and Caucasians started to move around. The Caucasian, the African-Americans, I believe, moved more so south. And that's when uh, more Hispanic and Spanish-Americans started to move into Watts. Watts today is, um, they're trying to give it a, po a positive outlook, even though it does have some negative uh, history. Uh, they build museums and art galleries and what have you uh, for the children and, you know, zoos and uh, better playgrounds and schooling or whatever. Uh, but uh, some of you could, um, you know, could come from Washington. You might know someone come from this area. You might have been living during this time. You might know someone who was, but this is very significant. I feel like somebody's really thinking about this. And I feel like this is something that could be happening in the near future as well. Like this is something that could happen all over again. People are going to start getting pissed off. It might not necessarily be a riot, but it might be a increase in violence and protesting and uh, shootouts and, uh, you know, just a whole lot of negativity. And I'm getting for some of you, you just need to protect yourself and uh, be more uh, stable and grounded and surround, um, you know, um, be more aware of your surroundings, okay? Uh, but some of you could be doing uh, Halloween decorations, of course, like I say, but, you know, studying, going back to school and things like that. Um, and so I'm going to pull some cards from the Goddess Love Oracle. But some of you could be dealing with bankruptcy or someone you know could be uh, and they're having a difficult time. But, you know, paying things off, um, getting retirement, Social Security, uh, increase in uh, finances and income, wanting to provide for your family. OK, so awakening, living in the moment. So right now you're living in the moment. OK, and you're more um, awakened to the things that are is uh privy to you at this time okay but receiving love and and uh un getting un an understanding of your life and the outcome and the things that you want to do okay um so i'm just gonna read the awakening Okay, some of you could like the song by Joe. I want to know. I want to know what, what makes you happy. Someone that you want to make someone smile. Someone that wants to make you smile. You may be giving a gift to someone. Okay, for some reason, I can't find the, the awakening card. Okay. But, um... So you may be stuck in a third party situation and I feel like you, there's a possibility someone's going to find out this information and they're not going to like it. Okay. And you may be trying to apologize to this person. You might want to give this person a gift. Okay. Um, but be careful with this because this person might not forgive you. Okay. Okay. But I just said this. So receiving gifts, uh, watching and waiting. She knows when to wait. The sleeping winter world at Embolic. She knows when you are ready. Okay, so this is Goddess Brigitte. Okay, Rela relax and stop grasping. Surrender yourself to the flow of life. A dancer does not dance in order to get to the end of the music to discover its meaning. She feels and responds to every beat. And note as she dances. In the same way, Goddess asks that you become aware of the countless magical moments in your everyday life. Okay? 
as it is your awareness of these small moments of magic that will indicate your readiness and your ability to really feel the music of life. Are you ready to fully awake? Live in the moment. Be aware, accept, and love. Okay, so awakening. Okay, so radiance, rejoice in your life. Okay, so some of you, um, okay, <laughs> so some of you could be thinking about romance at this time. I'm seeing children here. Some of you could uh, be very uh, young looking, very young looking for your age, but focusing on your children as well, rejoicing. Okay, celebrating with your family. Okay, um, but receiving in all the uh, blessings that was stored upon you, okay? The numbers 23 can be significant. Also, 2, 5 can be significant as well. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... So... This is Flora, and it's here to take you by the hand and lead you into sunshine where you belong. No more hiding in the shadows, no more silence in your voice, and no more wailing of your heart. Goddess comes to say it is time to rejoice, be expansive, and radiant. The sunflower tilts its head towards the power of the sun, and it does not fear standing taller than other flowers. The birds sing as loudly as they can, and trees stand proud in the splendor of their growth. It is your turn now. It's time for you to find your voice so that you can speak the truth in your heart. It is time to own your God's gifted beauty to celebrate your body and rejoice in your life. Listen to your heart desires and know that all things are possible. Step in your dreams and make them real, okay? Don't be afraid to shine, okay? The time to shine will come, but right now is your time. Rejoice and give the courage you need. There is nothing to be gained by hiding in the shadows, okay? So, radiance, not giving a damn what people think about you, coming out. Especially, some of you could be in the LGBTQ community. Okay. But, you know, some of you, uh, you know, opening the door to your divine. Okay, you might be calling in a soulmate at this time. Okay, safety. Okay. So... Okay, so you are held by someone. You could have a guardian angel, but you're safe. Uh, you're enlightened. You're very intuitive. Okay, you might be psychic as well. Okay, but personal power, personal growth, realizing what it is um, that 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 you have as far as in your being in your power. Okay, but be careful with snake people as well. Okay, um, but. Uh, enlightenment okay some of you could have indian in your background okay you could be looking forward to the winter also the number three is significant as well you could have three kids that you really think about um, they're all different they all have different personalities as well you could as well okay uh the numbers 10 28 82 could be significant Okay, um, 
but I feel like you're someone who seeks to understand a seeker, a seeker want to know things, maybe want to know more about your family. Exactly. Knowing about where you come from. Some of you could be from Watts. I do have a family member that's from Watts, my father. And he basically said how bad it was and uh, how he was a little kid and he was traveling. I guess he was walking over the bridge and some kids, teenagers, picked him up. He might have been like seven or eight and they dangled him over the bridge and uh, stole his money or tried to steal money that he had. Okay, so be careful with snake people at this time. They could be trying to steal your money. They could be doing things behind your back. Okay, there's too many cards, and I'm getting I need to reshuffle these. Okay, but paying attention to your possessions is very significant. Someone could be watching your possessions, watching what kind of money you got. But making the right choices with your investments is significant. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so putting an ending to things that no longer serve you. Okay, bringing in the new, letting go of the old. Okay, turning a new phase in life. Okay, um, but personal growth, success after failure. Okay. Uh, destiny and fate will allow you very little control over coming events so there's nothing really you can do but let it go with the flow okay some of you could be um, wanting to uh, make a change in your finances or you may want to be wanting to travel some of you are Time travelers are uh, like I'm getting um, astral travel. Some of you could like eagles or you may be in a brotherhood, sisterhood, four of cups. Okay. So dissatisfied. Okay. Not liking the offers that's coming towards you, wanting something new, wanting something different. I'm seeing depression and self absorption. Okay, you feel like you're being left out in the cold. I get fire sign as well. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, but earth is here and also water. You could be between two people here. I'm getting, uh, it's like you're not satisfied with the offers that in, that's in front of you and you want to move out and do something different. But some of you are very stressed out. You feel very insecure and very worried. Okay, you feel like uh, you could be dealing with health problems at the time. You could be gaining or losing weight, but financial ruin is here as well. Okay, uh, you might have to seek support uh, from someone, but fire sign is here. This person is very attractive, and they're going to take uh, action, but they get really good results. This person could come in to help you. But this person could also be taken from you, taking your finances as well, or causing a disruption in your finances. Some of you could be moving out, out of your home, selling your home. But at the end of the day, you're someone who's very flexible and you're adaptable ap adaptable to change, okay? I'm seeing good management skills, employment, okay? Um, compromising, reconciliation, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles in the full, okay? So, um Someone that's very down to earth and loyal could be wanting to come towards you. This person is very organized and very sympathetic, but we have the fool and the six of pentacles. Okay, so you're not letting anything hold you back. You're not letting anything get you down or stop your path. Uh, you just want to enjoy your life. Some of you may have a dog or you might like dogs or you could be getting a, a dog, okay? But you're someone who's very spontaneous, adventurous, and free-spirited at this time. You're not going to let anything...
come near you to cause any kind of destruction here. I'm getting six of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. Okay, so you're someone who's very abundant. You're going to be abundant after this loss here if you receive this loss. Uh, but, um, you know, giving back to society, giving back to the community, okay, but increased personal power at work as well. So some of you could be getting a, um, a raise, a uh, promotion, okay, but paying attention to details in your, in your work, okay, um, realizing that there's no get rich quick schemes out there, okay. But applying yourself, working smarter, learning a new trade. You could be, like I say, going back to school for something, but a good time to begin a profitable venture is here. Okay, we have the King of Cups, the Tower, and the Queen of Wands. You may be separating from a fire sign. This person is trying to hold you back. You may be kicking this person out, out of your home. This person could have left your home. Okay, they're disrupting your, your love life, I'm getting. For some of you, this person could also be into magic. They want to disrupt your life. They want to disrupt something that you're trying to do with someone, something. I don't know if it's a lover or what, but we have the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this person, I feel like the both of you feel stuck. Like this could be a marriage and you feel stuck in a marriage. You want to get away from this person. This person won't leave you alone. They just keep coming back, keep coming back and you feel trapped. You could have kids with this person. OK, but it's like you're being forced to live with this person and by their rules or something. For some of you Virgos out there, I mean, not all Virgos, but some of you need to grow some balls. And I, I, I literally I do mean that, like you can't let anyone run your life and tell you what this what to do. This person is going to affect your health and you, you're already getting in tune with this person. You probably already doing things you're not supposed to be doing the hair font is here so yeah okay you're someone who's uh you may be thinking about increasing your knowledge in something but i'm seeing the lovers here you might want to move towards someone to offer them love okay but attraction sexuality lust and love okay beginning of a new romance is here okay this is a period of good time with close friendships and adventures okay but making an important decision okay judgment Okay, so legal contracts could be signed, but forgiving someone, reconciling with someone, you want to move toward, might want to move toward someone and offer them stability and happiness. You might not talking to this person in a while because this other person won't leave you alone. They keep messing with you, keep coming around. Getting for some of you, you don't even. It's like you with this person, but you're not with this person. Y'all could sleep in different beds or something like this, but it's a separation here. I'm feeling you, you might have a lot of options and your mind is very cloudy, but it's like you're with someone and you don't know how to move away from this person, but you might be cheating on this person. This person could be cheating on you. Okay. But you may be uh, misinterpreting your reality here. Okay, but wishing for something doesn't make it happen. So it's like you're wishing for something to happen. You want something to happen. But at the same time, you're you're not making any moves. It's like you're someone who's very money. You're stable. You want to offer love to somebody, but you're confused. Like. Okay, so I feel like you're just very confused in love. And I feel like there's a possibility this person could be doing magic on you. Somebody's doing black magic. Or it could be black magic backfiring on someone. Okay, so we have the three of ones. Okay, yeah. So thinking about new projects, new new dreams are going to be realized, okay? But visualization and, and uh, anticipating obstacles and how you will overcome them. Okay, so we have a page of cups, okay? Passionate, very educated, okay? Thinking about creative and artistic things you want to do. You could be someone who's into arts, fashion, design. You may work very well with your hands. I'm seeing some of you could be out in the yard working in the yard. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so yeah, fighting back, not letting anything hold you back, but uh, new challenging, 
new challenges, accepting new challenges, okay? Someone that's, like I say, uh, you could be a builder, you could be uh, manufacturing, uh, but working with your hand is very significant. Some of you could be wanting to move away from something, but I'm getting, be careful with unbelievable, with illegal things as well and trying to get away with something as well, okay? Possibly a, a money situation you could be trying to get away from. You may be trying to hide money, okay, but you're very defensive and you're going to be fine fighting back and you're very strong and courageous, but people could be coming towards you for money, okay, and that's all that they see. You might want to get away from these people because they won't leave you the hell alone. That's all they do is ask you for money. They drain you. They drain your energy, and it's like you you just ready. you just fed up, okay, but others can see you as very intimidated at this time, okay? Someone could be coming towards you who's not who's not very good for you as well. This person could be trying to offer you, uh, act like they want to offer you something, but they're juggling two people. This person could have a pet, another person on the side that you know nothing about, and they might want to take you for your money. They might want to get you, you know, set you up, take all your money, and this person might want to try to move away after they do this. So be very careful. Some of you are thinking about someone from your past. This person might have passed on already. This person is your guardian angel. They're watching over you. I feel like some of you just want to say thank you for watching over me, for protecting me, for always being there for me. Okay, so we have adjustments are required. So, yeah, you need to adjust your, your planning, adjust your time, adjust your situation, adjust uh, the time that you spend with people, around people. Okay, so we ha also have communication is key with uh, New Moon and Gemini. So, uh, communicating with people. You might have two daughters. You might have two people that you really love and care about that want to move towards you. Are you thinking about which lover to go towards? Okay, you and your loved ones are safe, exactly. So you're thinking about, you may be thinking about your family, you know, just keeping them safe and providing for them and keeping them stable. Okay, confidence is your key to success, exactly. Okay, because some of you, you are very confident, okay? But I'm getting for some of you, you're dealing with someone who's trying to break your confidence down, okay? And it's making you very depressed and keeping you up at night. But you're someone who's very outgoing and extremely um, wise and you have very good authority. You might be in leadership. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, stop thinking about the past. The past is only holding you back. It's not going to get you anywhere. Some of you are just up in your mind thinking about old things that no longer serve you and it's causing a lot of stress on your on you and your body, okay? It's not good for your health. So some of you like to hold grudges and don't like to let stuff go. You keep thinking about, I'm getting for some of you, you judge people. You don't even know the situation about people. You need to stop doing this. Get to know a person before you start judging them. Because it's not, you're not going to find happiness. I feel like some of you are only going to keep going through the same cycles. If you keep judging people, you got to learn from your cycles of judging people because it's not getting you anywhere. You think everybody is crazy. You think everybody has something to do with, you think everybody's dissing you or sneaking you or it's like you just always thinking negative about people. Uh, some of you just really need to stop. And that's one thing about Virgos. That's how they, they stress themselves out and lose their damn hair real fast. Because a lot of, I don't know if, know if y'all know, if you're a cross watcher, if you know a Virgo, how many Virgos do you know they got hair on their head or they don't cut their damn hair? They, they will not keep their hair on it because they stress so damn much. What is you stressing about? That's for some Virgos, not all. Okay, so breathe deeper, extend your breath, and listen to your heart. Create a life from here, okay? Exactly. Letting go of the stress. 
letting go of things that no longer serve you, things from the past that you cannot change, things from the past that you hold on regarding your children, you need to let it go, okay? Especially if your kids are older now, they're more wiser. Like a lot of you just hold on to old stuff. And these, these kids have probably already changed, and but you just keep holding on to their childhood, and that's not right. It's not fair. Some of these kids didn't even have fathers in the home. Okay, so we're going to pull... Uh, Something about a Jeep is here. Some of you could be getting an SUV. You might have an SUV. Like SUVs. Someone could be thinking about taking you on a ride. We have liberation here. The numbers 37 can be significant. Also 10 and 1. But unity, freedom, liberation... Okay, this assists all the systems of the body, supports the inner stillness, and courage, and releases the fears, okay? You do your hands just like this and say, I honor the innate union of consciousness and bliss, okay? Some of you could also like the color purple. Something about the color purple is significant here. You could be in, in a brotherhood or sisterhood, some kind of secret society. Y'all, these cards are so big. I hope I can get through this reading without it being cut off. <laughs> so many options. Look, okay, you got so many options. You don't know what the hell to do, but a male under 30 is significant. Okay, you could be dealing with a female as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be a male, but somebody is younger than you. Somebody's young in the situation and someone's older. I'm seeing beauty, something about beauty. You could be thinking about your skin or, you know, looking more younger. Okay, so I adore you, okay? So someone really adores you. They really look, admire you. Okay, female over 30, exactly. Someone is the age difference in this situation. Okay, so we have new opportunities. Okay, so some of you need to take a chance Move towards the new, let go of the old, and take and uh, receive the new opportunities. But new opportunities are going to be coming towards you. I don't need money or cars. I need you. You're my all. We have stalker. Okay, so somebody's watching, watching you. You could be really watching this person, whoever it is that's on your mind. Like I said, I watch you exactly times two. So this person is heavily stalking and watching somebody watching somebody real real heavy and want to know their business it ain't none of their damn business wedding dress okay and passionate sex exactly so this person could be looking at wedding dresses they could be getting married you want to marry this person somebody looking at a wedding dress and thinking about somebody getting married okay but passionate sex is very significant as well you could have done had sex in the car okay uh, or this person, something about car sex. Um, but yeah, for some of you, I feel like some of you, you really watching somebody. It could be a family member to somebody watching you. Want to know what you're up to? But I'm getting some of you. You're you too damn old to be watching, folks. Need to uh work, focus on your health. Leave people alone, let them live their life, and stop trying to watch and uh, keep up with folks, okay? A lot of you Virgos are like that. Let your friends help you. Exactly. Whatever you're going through, whatever situation you feel like is holding you back, your friends are there. I feel like some of you really do have supportive friends, but also you need to be careful with you can't trust everybody. I want to marry you. Somebody wants to get married and settle down. I want to show you off exactly. You see this person as someone that you really can that you really can't be with and get married to. I, I see marriage, I see happiness, I see stability. But at the same time, you got someone in the background that's watching everything that you do and wanting to cause a tower moment. Okay, you could be trying to get away with something. I'm not exactly sure. 
I'm not going to say I don't know, but saying I'm not sure sounds a little bit more uh, reasonable than I don't know. I hate to hear people say I don't know. I was brought up saying don't say things like that, especially if you're in a workplace and you tell somebody I don't know. Don't say that because I'm getting for some of you, you're trying to somebody trying to see what you're going to say or how you respond. Somebody, it could be you. And you trying to get this person in trouble or somebody trying to get you in trouble if you say I don't know. <laughs> I don't I someone told me this a long time ago and it's coming to me all over again. But yeah, I don't like to say I don't know. I like to say I'm not sure. But it's something going on. But we're gonna meditate on this situation a little bit more, Virgo. That is it. We're gonna go ahead and close the reading. Again, my name is Tosh. I'm with So Epic Heart Therapy. I'm sorry, 